As soon as the ego reappears, things begin to go wrong. Radio communications break down. Messages to ego must be relayed through my cards. Avoid the command module ammonia. Throughout the crucial final checks, contact with the ego keeps dropping out. And flight director Gene Kranz inches closer to aborting the mission. With the vital computer links temporarily holding, the moment of decision is now. Hurtling toward the moon at 3,800 miles per hour, Neil Armstrong notices his checkpoints are all appearing too soon. This means a serious navigation error. At these speeds, three seconds long means missing the safe landing zone by three miles. Suddenly, the computer starts firing the maneuvering thrusters, jolting the ship back and forth. This has happened in simulations, but never this much, never this violent. The smooth descent is becoming a bumpy ride. Before that is fixed, a problem with the onboard computer. The astronauts have rehearsed for thousands of possible malfunctions, but not this one. It had been considered too unlikely. Seconds seem like hours as everyone struggles to remember the meaning of a 1202 program alarm. The deadline to safely aboard is vanishing fast. 1202 means the Eagle's onboard computer is overloading. This means Houston is blind, unable to make navigation corrections or interpret the data coming from Eagle's computer. Armstrong and Aldrin are on their own. Mission Control decides they can go ahead. If the data link doesn't fail again. 1,000 feet and Neil Armstrong can see that the computer is proposing to put them down in a dangerous place. That landing site is full of boulders. If they land there, they will never take off again. At 350 feet, Armstrong ignores his computer navigation and veers away from the lucky landing site with no time to explain to Mission Control. In Mission Control, everybody is stunned. At 300 feet, the Eagle has left its flight plan and taken off at full speed across the face of the moon. Eagle, Houston, to fuel. Come on, over. 90 seconds of fuel remaining. Now less than 200 feet, and the Eagle is too low to safely abort back into orbit. They call this part of the flight plan Dead Man's Curve. No level. No level. All that's left for Mission Control is to read off the fuel remaining in seconds. The entire moon landing has come down to two men and one minute.
A short time later, history is made again. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. For one incredible moment, we are one people with one history, watching our destiny unfold. It was a moment shared by an entire world. With these first steps, mankind stood on the highest ground, and we saw our planet as our home port in the endless ocean of space. There was something which was surprising to me, and that 